Welcome to Mark Arnold's Finance. We're going to be comparing the two biggest home improvement retailers. Of course, that is Home Depot and Lowe's. These are both very popular amongst investors and investors seem to choose one or the other. And so I thought this would be good to compare the two and pick a winner. Of course, how I'm going to do it is I'm going to first begin the video with providing some information I feel is important. Then we're going to compare it with my metrics chart that I created and that will choose a winner based on that chart but then I'll choose a winner of my own based on my own opinions and thesis. Before I get started, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I'm somebody that's very transparent. I show my portfolio performance with every single video and that's what we're gonna start with right now. If we look at my portfolio performance, we'll see it is in the red. Now, last time I showed this, it was just below the 1%, I believe, so it's gotten a little bit more into the red. Um, and we will see here, of course, I have the big losers like Meta, Tattooed Chef, Warner Bros. Discovery. And I think that Meta will turn around eventually at some point and I will be in the green. Uh, Tattooed Chef, I want to do a video on this probably soon. I don't know if this company will ever turn around. Uh, I might have to wait very long term, but that's more to talk about in another video. Warner Bros. Discovery, I have a small position, so I can average heavily down on this. But overall, be sure if you want to pause this, look at these uh, companies I have, ask me any questions, I'd be happy to talk about it. But let's focus on the very right. I have one stock in the discretionary sec uh, section of the stock market and that is Home Depot. And for me, it is down one and a half percent. Of course, this year it's gone down pretty massively and we are going to look at everything Home Depot and Lowe's and compare them. So let's get started. Let's start with how many stores each company has. With Lowe's, they have 1,971 stores. Now Home Depot has 2,317 stores. So that's a difference of 346 stores. That number might not seem big as a difference, but of course these are huge warehouses that get built. A lot of expenses go into it. So even one store is a lot of extra um, expenses for these companies to build out so the fact that Home Depot has 346 more is a decent lead but Lowe's has been increasing their store openings over the last couple years pretty drastically so they're trying to catch up in my opinion now the market cap of these companies Lowe's is at 118.24 billion market cap where Home Depot is at 300.53 billion market cap just to put that in perspective, the difference between the two market caps is $182.29 billion. That difference alone is more than the market cap of Lowe's. That's how much bigger Home Depot is when it comes to their market cap. So that's something to just keep in mind as we go through this video. Now let's look at their stock charts. We're going to start with Home Depot on this one. We're going to see over the last five years, they've grown 99.83%. So decent gains, and if you're an investor, you're probably happy, but if you're an investor in Lowe's these last five years, you're even happier as they've grown 151% over the last five years. So definitely a better performing stock than Home Depot, but of course, past does not uh, mean the future and anything can happen, but we will talk about that uh, throughout this video. Uh, let's talk about e-commerce presence. Home Depot kills it here. In fact, if we look at this chart, we will see that Home Depot is in the top seven of US e-commerce uh, business. And they are right sandwiched in between Walmart and Best Buy. So they're above Best Buy and Costco. And of course, Amazon is the king, but the fact that Home Depot is in the top seven to me is fantastic. And I will say I have used their app. I have bought blinds for my house and my grandparents' house, both at separate times. Both were very smooth uh, interactions with the app. Everything got ordered correctly. You go on there, it walks you through everything, how to measure the blinds, you know, putting in those measurements, ordering, and they came as expected, and now the blinds are awesome. So yes, their app is fantastic. I believe that Home Depot invests heavily in their technology, and that shows by how far ahead they are Lowe's wasn't even in the top 10. I couldn't really find its ranking, but Home Depot gets it here. Now, if we look at the sales per store, we will see that Home Depot, you know, is in the lead here, and their sales per store number is a 65.2 versus Lowe's 48.8. I believe that this is in millions. 
But what I will say is Lowe's has grown their store count drastically where Home Depot has grown their sales per store. So it just depends on you as an investor which one you prefer. I think I prefer the sales per store growth and that's what I like to look at as an investor. If we look at distribution centers and delivery time uh, stats, we will see here that when it comes to delivery time, Lowe's is much better. You get your products on average of two and a half business days where Home Depot takes an average of four business days. But when it comes to distribution centers, Home Depot has many more with 90 where Lowe's has 15. So when I look at this and analyze it, what I think I see with this is Home Depot probably has a lot more volume that happened. That's why they have four business days compared to the two and a half that Lowe's has and they have so much more distribution centers. They are one of the top when it comes to e-commerce. And if Home Depot was to increase and improve their delivery time, they would really just take away from Lowe's. I looked at a few other things that I wanna share quickly. Uh, Home Depot does have a wider product range by 4%, so that just means you have that many more options than Lowe's. And Home Depot has lower pricing by 14% on average. And this is true, when you go to Lowe's and Home Depot, most everything you compare, Home Depot is going to be lower in price. So I think a lot of people do acknowledge that and do prefer to go to Home Depot. So with that said, let's now look at the metrics chart that I have created. And I think this is a great tool to use and this will help choose us the first winner off this metric. So if we start with the PE ratio, trailing 12 months, we will see that Home Depot is more expensive at 18.57 where Lowe's comes in at a 15.08. So anything highlighted in green is the winner, so Lowe's wins that one. Now that earnings per share, trailing 12 months versus prior trailing 12 months, Home Depot has grown 14.88%, but Lowe's has grown much more at 33.66%, so they take the win there. Now the revenue growth over the trailing 12 months, Home Depot definitely takes it here at 7.93% growth in their revenue versus Lowe's 1.21%. If we take that out to five years, Home Depot still takes it at a 9.83% revenue growth versus Lowe's 8.16. I do like to see this. Revenue growth is important, and so Home Depot uh, is doing things right. Now, cash flow is probably one of the most important things that I like to look at, and over the growth of the last five years, Home Depot has grown 14.47, but Lowe's is a little bit higher at 17.54, so Lowe's takes it in this category. Now, the dividend yield. With uh, Home Depot, they pay a 2.6% dividend yield, and, but Lowe's pays a lower one at 2.27. Now, the one-year dividend growth, though, is very interesting. Home Depot has grown by 15.15% over the last year. That's how much they've grown their dividend. But look at Lowe's. That is phenomenal. They've grown at 75%. If you've been an investor in Lowe's over the last couple years, this was something that was probably a pleasant surprise when they did it over the last year. And I think to support that growth, if we look at the dividend payout ratio, Home Depot is higher at a 48% where Lowe's is lower at 34%. So that allowed them to increase that dividend that much more. And so Lowe's takes that. Now the debt to assets, both companies, when it comes to debt, aren't, you know, they don't look good. Home Depot comes at 102.2%, Lowe's comes at a 113.8%. And I think that's just because these companies, there's a lot of expenses involved, especially with growing out their warehouses. If we look at the profit margins, they're pretty close. Home Depot is at a 33.78, but Lowe's is higher to 34.03. And that could be, that could be because they are more expensive. Um, and so they do take the green here. But I will say Home Depot is viewed as the cheaper option. So you know, that might be a benefit for Home Depot, but when it comes to the numbers, Lowe's takes it here. They both do share buyback, so I just put yes there, that's more informational. Now the analyst score, Home Depot at a 2.1, so pretty bearish. You know, they're seeing this company as overvalued and something that, you know, they would probably sell at this point. And Lowe's is pretty much in the same bucket. It gets a little bit higher of a rating at 2.5, but it's also considered overvalued and you know, probably a stock that many analysts are saying to sell. Now, are these companies easily replicated? Both get a no for me, and here's why. These companies are both huge and the top two home improvement retailers, and that's something that is hard to replicate. A lot of expenses 
goes into building out companies like these and I consider them pretty much Amazon proof so that's a positive and I don't think Amazon could come in and just really replicate this business very easily even if it tried so they both get I didn't highlight any because they both basically get uh, a positive for me in this area I don't think that either one is very easily replicated now I in this last one the future uh, I'm the you know I provide my own opinion on this this is my own rating so a 1 is low a 10 is high I think Home Depot is a 7.5 and Lowe's is a 7 so they're pretty much neck and neck but I do give the higher rating to Home Depot I think their future is brighter and that's mainly due because of their dominance in the e-commerce side of things and I think they are more popular with consumers so I think long term uh, they'll be the better stock to invest in so if we look at this Home Depot has 5 green and Lowe's has seven. So off this metrics chart, Lowe's is the winner and they just have better numbers when it comes to these metrics we looked at. But if we now just take my opinion, my own strategy and thesis, I'm gonna pick my own winner and my winner is Home Depot. Of course I own this stock and I tried not to be biased. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you why I chose this stock. For me, Home Depot, it is preferred by consumers because they see it as cheaper and I think that they're able to attract those customers better um, as we saw by their increased sales per store compared to Lowe's and I think they have a better growth in their future because they have a more solid brand name I mean I think Home Depot is more recognizable plus they have that little tune of theirs that just gets stuck in your head when you see it or you automatically know what it is for that is one reason for two e-commerce I think Home Depot has done fantastic in investing in their technology and it shows by their market share and I've used their app so firsthand I can tell you it was a great experience they have a great app and if they just continue to improve that that's going to be gold for them so that's why I choose Home Depot so the metrics chose Lowe's I choose Home Depot I think they do have the brighter future but I do like both and I can see why uh, you as an investor could choose either or. And, you know, like I said, they are both pretty much Amazon proof, which is a positive. Um, Home Depot is more expensive. And so for me, I would buy that under 300, which it's at right now, but I'd load the boat if it fell below 250. So that's what I'm hoping for. Of course, my average is just at 300. Um, and if it goes down, I, I would definitely add heavily to Home Depot because I think long term uh, this stock just has a bright future, this company. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree with uh, either the metrics choice or my choice and why. Of course, the metrics is more on past performance and my choice is based more on their futures. So let me know what you think and I appreciate you guys joining me on this video. And let me know if you want me to compare any other stocks in the future. I'd be happy to do so. And that's all for today. So I hope you guys have a great day. And we'll see you next time on Mark Arnold's Finance.